Okay, if you've installed Flight Simulator 2020 to a hard drive and you're running out of space, or maybe it's an older drive and you want to go to a faster drive, you can move it with just one click. In my case, I put it on a hard drive and I wanted to put it over on a new SSD, but I didn't want to re-download it. The good news is I can move it to this new SSD drive that I have down here uh, very easily. Now, because my channel is about helping people understand how things work, we're going to look at how Windows stores uh, Windows apps and Windows Store games. Okay, other programs don't qualify. So no matter where you uh, have your games installed on which drive, Windows creates these directories that store uh, the apps and again the games from the Windows Store uh, in those locations. So now that we understand that, we're going to take a look at this SSD I installed down here, and we're going to open it up, and you're going to see, up oh, nothing there, none of those directories. So uh, let's go ahead and try and move something. So to do that, I'm going to go open up the Settings app, and I'm going to go to the Apps page. Uh, so once we get there, it'll take a while, for, by the way, for it to populate down here of all your different apps. But I'm going to find one that's not that demanding. Uh, I want to test it before I try to do the uh, Flight Simulator. So we look here, and there are things that aren't going to move. They're regular games. But now here's Blender. Now Blender has both two versions on my system. One is the uh, DOS or the Windows desktop version, you can only modify. And here's Blender, you notice that I can move it because it's an app in the Windows Store. You're also going to run into some that uh, aren't allowed to move. For example, the calculator, which is uh, installed from uh, Microsoft, not going to be able to move that at all. And the same with the camera. Uh, if we scroll down here to, or go down here to camera, you can't move that. By the way, some publishers uh, don't allow it no matter what. But I'm going to find a small little game here that I installed, and we're going to test to move that. Oh, there we are. Uh, we're going to move uh, this game here. And you notice here it has the ability to be moved somewhere else. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that move. So the settings app well, comes up, and there tells you where it's installed at. And if you use a drop down here, it shows you the available drive. And sure enough, there's the one I want to move it to. Okay, so I'm ready to go ahead and... Uh, move this small game as a test. Let me uh, move these around a little bit here so we can watch what's going on. So we're ready to go now. We click on move. We choose the drive. I choose the new game SSD I installed because that's where I want to put it. It's empty right now. Uh, so let's go back and say move and select it. Click on that and then say uh, move. And if you watch as we move things start happening over here on the drive. And you'll notice that the status bar, the progress bar says that, and boom, it's done. It got moved. So uh, it completed successfully. And it now says it's on the SSD. So now that we're relatively confident this move function is working on the new drive, I'm going to move my flight simulator from there on my uh, 3 terabyte to the new uh, 1 terabyte SSD. So I'm going to come down here and find Flight Simulator uh, down here. So we go down a list and we eventually find it uh, down here somewhere. There it is. And we're going to click on it, take a look at it. It says it's only 900 megabytes. But again, if we click on it, and you see we have the option to move. That's the number one thing. Uh, so we can move it. It's going to be more than this amount. So just like we did with the test program, we're going to come over here and we're going to say move. We're going to see that it's uh, take the drop down and select the game SSD. And now, because I'm pretty sure it's going to work, I'm going to go ahead and click on move. Now, if you notice here, it starts moving pretty quickly. But again, that's not reflecting the true size of it, the 95 gigabytes. Uh, it's going to go off to the end here and stall in a minute. And then we're going to have to wait. And I'm going to refresh the screen every so often to take a look and see if anything's happening over here. Uh, but it's going to take, it took me an hour to do this, so it's going to take a bit to actually move the entire thing. Now, being impatient uh, like I usually am, I uh, kept checking the status here. And by the way, I turned off my screen recording so it wouldn't affect the uh, times that much. Uh, so if I keep refreshing it, I see I'm getting close to that 95 gigabyte difference. Now, eventually it'll stop filling up the drive and just hang there, at least it looks like it. But what it's doing is verifying the files against the old files, whatever, and you'll see that the old drive is now incrementing as it deletes. If I refresh it, I end up with uh, more space there. So it's actually doing the, completing the move. 
Then finally, that moment will happen. You'll see Microsoft Flight Simulator on the left here will disappear and everything looks fine. Uh, looks like it's completed successfully. And we can check that. We'll just go over here and click on Move again. And now it'll show that it's now on the H drive. Clean, easy move. So under this philosophy that I have is what you don't test that basically doesn't work until you do. So I launched the uh, flight simulator. Not only did my load times, because I went from a hard drive to an SSD, the game ran smoother because during the game, uh, it loads in files, scenery files, and different types of environmentals uh, as the game is playing from wherever you have it stored. Now again, because I loaded this on an old PC to uh, find out problems and help people uh, resolve them, uh, the graphics aren't that great here. But if you're looking to move Flight Simulator uh, from a slower SSD or just because you need more space on a certain drive, uh, it's very easy to do, one click. And remember, you can do this for any Windows app or Windows Store game uh, that allows you to move it. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.